This is the problem that, that seems to emerge as the function of some really fundamental force that we don't quite understand. And that's this phenomena that I've been referring to as the Pareto distribution. Okay, so here, here's, the, here's the situation. If you look at any creative endeavor that human beings engage in, so that would be an endeavor where there's variability in individual production. And it doesn't matter what it is. Here's what happens. People compete to produce whatever that is, and almost everybody produces zero. They lose completely. A small minority are a tiny bit successful, and a hyper minority are insanely successful. And so the Pareto distribution, for, and the Pareto distribution is, is the what geometric graph representation of that phenomena. And so here's how it manifests itself. Um, if you have 10,000 people, 100 of them have half the money. So the rule is the square root of the number of people under consideration have half of whatever it is that's under consideration. So this works everywhere. So if you took 100 classical composers, 10 of them produce half the music that's played. And then if you take the, the 10 composers and you take 1,000 of their songs, 30 of those songs, which is the square root of 1,000, roughly speaking, are played 50% of the time. And so there's this underlying natural law 